Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it's lovely to have you here and I am back working um, once again with the um, Steampunk digital kit from Tanya at Tatty Treasure and it is called Dark Days. So um, I am working behind the scenes on the cover. It's a very slow process because I'm, <coughs> I'm putting ink splats and um, paper um, you know painting and things like that on it so it's a very long slow drawn out process so you will see it sooner or later but i'm just i'm just playing with it at the moment so i'll carry on getting um pages ready and um, ephemera for the inside and things like that i'm puffed <laughs> so i'm going to use a couple of card um craft card craft card colored envelopes craft colored i don't know a couple of these brown envelopes um today i'm going to join them together and um, make them into a page but I want them to open at the top not the side so I can in fact completely shut this um, yes flap <laughs> that's it shut this flap down completely um, because it's going to be opened at the top and then I'm going to join it on a like a hinge so they're not going to hinge out the hinge will be the you know the center of the page will be sewn in to the spine with the center of all the other your pages you'll see in a minute but I, I have got lots of um craft card and um, hinge sized pieces of paper um well card but i i saved i don't I can't remember what i cut them off actually to be honest i've had them a long time um these things so i'm just going to use one of these i'll probably do this twice but i'll only do it once on camera because i'm i think i'll do one for each <coughs> signature they're not going in the middle of the signature i often put um an envelope in the middle but i'm not i'm not intending to do that this time um, i think i'm going to stick it with some fabric tack it just it's quite porous um the craft card and uh, it just gives me a bit, little bit longer to get them in theory <laughs> level with each other the envelopes because this card is not quite i believe the height of the envelopes but i am going to take a chunk off a small chunk off the top so if i put these on the bottom oh what a noise that is <laughs> didn't really want to come out well not quite the bottom but nearer the bottom what i'll have to do is just put one down and then line the other one up with it won't i is that what i wanted to do i think it is <laughs> um hmm I was thinking I would have that on the inside, not the outside. So that was a completely, let me, let me have a, another go. I'll put that to one side. I'll use it for something. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll have a completely clear front of the envelope as it were. So a completely clear page. And then all the like um, lumps and bumps and joins and what have you all be on another page. I haven't decided what I'm doing with them yet. I'm, I'm thinking a, yes, I've got them like that. That's it. Yeah, but I wanted that on the outside. So oh, if I stick it on the outside of that, is that, no, that still doesn't do it, does it? <laughs> like that. Yeah, I want the, for some reason, I just wanted the nice clean page at the front. Right, I've got it. I've got my head round it, I think. So, fasten this in closed. <laughs> I hope you're all well. It will get better, I promise you. <laughs> don't be, don't believe in me already. Um, so, Neil and I have been out all day. It's dark outside again. I know we'll be coming right to gad about. So, we're not, well, I say we're not doing anything majorly interesting. We're, we've been to another, a different town near us. And, uh, yep. Yeah had coffee and looked at the shops and done some of the charity shops and yeah i do have to admit i bought another, another wedding dress today for the appliques on it but um the same shop that i got the last one from so the ladies knew me this time <laughs> and um yeah like i say they keep saying to me every time we go they're like we've got lots upstairs if you'd like to <laughs> like us to bring some down and i keep saying no no better not have any more and then when I got home, I said to Neil, I think next time we go, I will. I'll get him to bring them all down and have a real good, um, you know, shop. <laughs> See what else they've, 
they've got to entice me. Right, so I finally got what I wanted, which is, you know, a nice plain front and back. There, are you level? I didn't check. I've gone right down to the bottom this time, but like I said, I'm going to cut that off across the top and then it's like an, um, an envelope, a nice big envelope for a big journal card or whatever I decide to put in it. Um, just wondering if I would want some washi over that. I mean, I don't have to, but it might be nice. And I've got some lovely wide washi tapes now, but they're very pretty, aren't they? That one's not, but it's not wide particularly. Because I want to put some of the other papers There's a lot of green actually. I'm just looking at this here, some of the pages here from the there is quite a bit of green in it and it's it's butterflies on text by the looks of it. So I think that I'm I'm calling that a match. It it may well be covered over and hidden, who knows? But um if you can see there's just that little line which you don't particularly want to see, but it wouldn't offend me too much, but it, it is um a weak spot, isn't it, as well. Now, a piece of lace down it, a piece of coffee dyed fabric down it, anything would be nice. So I'll see what I do on the other one, whether I do something different, I don't know. So I'm just putting some glue down as well. This, this tape does seem uh, fairly tacky, but it is washi tape at the end of the day. And I do want it on permanently. Probably haven't done that straight, I never do. So yeah, another busy, busy day. It's um, it's nice though. So we're kind of going fits and starts. So we'll, you know, for weeks and weeks we'll be out on all Neil's days off. I think shopping's probably our main. <laughs> shopping or, you know, whether it be window shopping or actual shopping. Seems to be our, and coffee, coffee and caking. Seems to be our, our um, main uh, theme of across there. Theme of the day, theme of what am I trying to say? Leisure, that's it. <laughs> right, so this is going to be a bit hard for my poor old chopper, but... Ooh. Sorry, Neil downstairs, he'll be wondering what's happening. <laughs> and for all you guys out there close to your phones. Oh, lovely. They are lovely big um, pockets now. Okay, and... What I'm thinking is, well, this is what I had in, in mind, so I can tell you, I'm going to cover that. I'm thinking maybe some nice pockets in black. I've got some black card here on it. Um, but I'd like to do some eyelets across the bottom and, yeah, possibly dangle some. I've got some metallic -y ones, yeah. Yeah, Perhaps dangle some charms and things. Oh, I'm hiccuping again, off. But I think I'll probably want to cover that first. So I'm going to cover the outside. So I'm wondering if... Well, I'll cover the inside as well. But I'm wondering if it's the inside. I say the inside, but they're going to be two separate pages. So don't let me confuse you. I'm just talking about the inside of it, how, how it is. Once it's in the journal, that will be a front of a page and that'll be the back, won't it? So, um, yeah, I'm just wondering if to... Is that just one page? That's very thick. No, it's two. If to have some black, because I've got lots of lace and fabricy ones, um, pockets is what I was trying to say. In there, on these pages, I'm going to cover them anyway because I want them covering and I want the outside covering. So what have I got? Now these are nice. Yeah, so they, they've got Midnight Meadow on the back, but I want to use the the kit page side uh, sides. These will be lovely for journaling on. So if I'm having pockets on kind of that side, perhaps this is where I want to have the journaling. Although I have brought along these, which are the portrait um, pages. Hmm, spoilt for choice now. I think I might want these on these nice big flat. And these are both kind of greeny, have greeny colours on them, which will go with what I've put in there. So let me just move these aside because I had to make a choice. <laughs> Plenty to choose from. Um, and let's get some... I'm just getting my other chopper. Uh, guillotine? <laughs> it's a guillotine. I call it a chopper. 
the Tim Holtz one and um, get rid of the white because these have been printed on white but you know they're going on on craft card so that's got a faux well you know an image of um, an eyelet up there so I like, like that so let me just get this side off yeah so I, I don't want a nice neat pristine edge basically is what I was trying to say but I'm using the Tim Holtz one um, I don't necessarily want the yeah I want the page itself so so I can fit it in I'm going to take some off the bottom as well <laughs> if that makes any sense I'm going to fit it in my chopper still not enough I hope it's long enough any time I've done that's it. Right, we're in. So I want to take it off. Yeah, we're plenty, plenty big enough. You know, down the side of the actual um, page, the page image. Yeah, like that. Let's move this here a minute, and then let's do some marking with pencil, shall we? Um, Yes, where is the pencil? It's bright green, but can I ever find it? Well, it's not bright green. What is it? It's green. So I've, yeah, I've had a, like I say, we've been out most of the day, but I've had a little play this morning in the, I don't even know if I'll be able to see that, in the greenhouse. Um, like I say, putting inks and things on the cover and some papers. And uh, we cleared it out the other day, like I say. So I, I didn't want the cat all over it. So, you know, I shut him out and he's been very upset. <laughs> he could see me through the... Our back door's got like... Um, what kind of glass do you call it when you can't see through it? Privacy glass, I think they call it or something like that, don't they? But, you know, it's got the fancy pattern in it. You could, you know, let's light him, but you can't see lots of detail through it but I can see the cat through it and he can see me <laughs> so he was sat there looking trying to make eye contact with me desperately me trying not to make eye contact with him pretending I didn't know <laughs> yeah I don't mind that green behind there at all actually but it, we've got a lovely dark edge kind of here and here and not on these bottom two so you know I'm gonna put on it don't you good old um scorched timber and somebody did say to me um in the comments let me just get the right dobber because i've now got two brown ones that's it that the because i've got the oxide that the ink seemed they saw somebody using the ink and it seemed a lot um stronger in color deeper darker darker i think was the term they used so and i've been on again and had a look because i couldn't remember the difference between the oxide and the ink so you know the tim holtz video i've watched it so many times now but it gives you so much information doesn't it in a hit and yet it probably is so they are so that one is the ink is all don't quote me on it but i think the ink is all pigment <laughs> is that right no it's all dye and the oxide is pigment and dye. So the oxide are the ones that kind of change colour and move around and what have you most with water. React, I guess is the word. And the dyes, less so, a lot less so, but much stronger colour. So, you know, you'd have to go on and listen to him because I, I really didn't do it justice there. But yes, I, I can understand why. And it, that probably is the case. That the um, the ink, as opposed to the oxide, is a lot darker. So, guess what? <laughs> and now, and I want the ink. I'm thinking I could buy the ink in a mini. You know, a little mini, and um, then see which one I. You know, if there's a preference, <laughs> which one I'm going to go with moving forward. Um, I, yeah, I have. I've bought a couple of minis just lately, so um, I'm thinking I might, with the colours that I'm not going to use a lot, never with the browns and the, you know, my special, you know, I said flavours and my special colours, I'll always get the big ones, but I'm thinking I might get each month just a couple of the minis and build, you know, sort of a colour collection up. So, 
you know, I might get, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, I might get some in ink and some in oxide or, I don't know, might, I don't know. That would probably be the best thing to do, wouldn't it? Well, you didn't do a very good job there. Oh, I did. Am I on? Mm, let's, let's see if I can, I was on but barely. I want it kind of level. So it's, it's nearly stuck already, that. It is good, that glue stick, I do. I do like it. And I have been tempted. It's going to be too wide that way now. Tempted to move away from it at times. No, but you're not straight that way. I don't think the piece of paper's straight. It's still very, very tacky, so I don't need to re-glue. So let's go as close to the edge as I can without touching it and as close to the bottom and hope. I might have to trim it if this doesn't work. No, it looks like we're there. Just gassing too much, not paying enough attention. What was I saying? <laughs> Something about the inks and me buying a couple each month to build a set up anyway. Yeah, just gassing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So I'm going to cover all four and then I'll decide where I'm, which one I'm going to put the pocket on. I do like that though and I think with some, I don't, I haven't decided how many yet, but with some, what are they called? Eyelets across the bottom. It will be nice. Right, which part of this one do we want? And I want it all because I love it all, but I guess we should really go for the clock. And I do actually like this. What is this? It's like a mirror frame kind of thing. It's a book, but yeah, it's a fancy bit. So let's... I need to take some top and bottom, don't I? So it'll fit in... In the chopper sideways so i had plenty so i'm going to go right up because it'll leave me a bigger piece to play with you know of scrap as well so this is the side i want the frame Ooh, not enough still have some light on there still you take a big chunk that's it Poor old Neil is trying to do some work on the computer downstairs. He'll be like, what on earth were you doing? Right, I think it will be as easy just to make a mark with my finger and go in like that, go inside it. That's what I think. So tomorrow's... Oh, I take a mum to town, she's going to have a haircut. <laughs> no, she's not going to have a haircut, I'll tell a lie. She's going to have her eyes tested. Not much difference. <laughs> Not much difference there. Um, so guess what me and Neil are going to do while she's doing that? I bet you can't guess. Uh, yeah, we'll be going for a coffee. And uh, probably not a cake tomorrow. We'll be going for a coffee and... Well, I'll look around the market because the market will be open. Not that we're big market shoppers, but... Well, still a bit wide at the bottom. I feel like you're not square. Let's sort that out a bit. But I do like a look, and I don't, you know, I don't mind some fresh veg, uh, and they do have a nice bakery. We're back to cakes again. Nice tea cakes they make um, on, the, on our market. And yes, we will probably pop in the charity shops as well. And I'm sure we'll be popping in, well, I won't be, Neil will be, in the fishing tackle shop. So that's that's tomorrow afternoon's um, plans. It's Neil's last day off tomorrow of his five days. Look, I'm still not right there. Um, yeah, let me... No, don't use that because it won't look the same. I mean, you can see it's a lot bigger at the top than the bottom, but it, 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 um, it printed sideways on my paper, so I thought that was, that was it, but it... It actually is cutting sideways as well. Right, fingers crossed. That's better. Now, I guess what I didn't do was ink round this, but I'm thinking I'm going to have some uh, gold gilding round it again. Or maybe some copper. Tanya sent me something copper, didn't you? So we look. Some... Ultimate metallic bronze it is. Pigment. Oh, it's an ink pad. 
Oh, so I could put a dauber in it and do it around the edge because it looks a gorgeous colour, doesn't it? Yeah, might do that. Some copper. Well, it's bronze, but it looks copper coloured to me. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do around there. Um, what am I doing? Gluing it down. You got a got glue page anywhere? You can see I've got a print on the back, but never mind. Oh, I'm trying to take the lid off. It's not off. Oh, and I've just reminded myself I. I've been in the chemist as well. I haven't got any baby wipes left. I was sat looking at them, waiting for the chemist, and uh, they were all on offer. I was thinking I'll get some of those. And I've got none. But the chemist took so long, by the time I was released, <laughs> I just fled the shop. So, yeah, and I could do with one right now. Right, make sure I'm the right way up. Yeah. Not this one though, I want the clock the right way up. Okay, and I'll try and do it in one hit this time, but no promises. Yep, so I went to um, a, a shop that sold some Tim Holtz um, bits and pieces. Not in our town because we don't have such a thing. Oh yeah, it's quite, it's quite a lot showing there, but I'm, oops, I, I will be going over it with the ink, so. When this is dry, I want this to dry first. Um, yeah, so I've got a couple of new oops, uh, stencils and a couple of pieces of Tim Holtz fabric. And I'm just reaching to show you, as I always do, mid-task. The um, It's probably shiny, isn't it? But these, I'm sure you've seen them before, but these are the first Tim Holtz stamps I've ever had. So I'm absolutely made up with them. Um, yeah, so I'll be using those soon, very soon. I'll show you the fabrics. Um, so there's this one with a postage stamp. I don't know if they have names. Yes, they do. Well, this has. Electric Elements Substrates. I think that's the name of the, the whole collection, isn't it? And this one, has this got a branding strip on it? Probably come from different companies, I don't know. Cars. Designed to have a distressed appearance. Oh, here we go. Eclectic Elements, that one. So, yeah, they probably are from, you know, the, um, like the, the collections that he does. I don't know them all well enough yet. Um, right, what am I going to cover the inside with? That's what we were going to decide, wasn't it? All you're seeing is me covering papers, which isn't all that interesting, is it? So what I was saying is these will be good for journaling on. Let's, sorry guys. But this is what I'm working on, so it's, uh, it's either show you this, I guess, or, or, or not do a film, because sometimes if I... You know, I have to film what I'm working on rather than just make a film, especially for you, as it were. Otherwise, I'd never get anything done. So, yeah, sometimes it's it's boring things that have to be done. Right, let's try and get it straight here. Try it. Try it a different way. See if I can get a, a better a better size in one go. Noisy. Love this paper. The smaller this piece is getting, the more I'm loving it as well. Yeah, see, I don't need as much off there as there. Let's just do that and that. Okay, so we need to be inside that line. I see I folded the bottom bit over a bit much, I did notice. So there's the line. Let's try that. Yeah, some lovely, lovely hues. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and make it life, it does just fit. But let's make my life easier for myself and give me a bit of, a bit of leeway. Yeah, that's still plenty big enough, so we'll go with that. I just have to keep bunging that back in my drawer, which is quite noisy, but I need another. It's the safest place for it. <laughs> I'll put it somewhere on the floor. I'll either bend and twist my back or some such thing. 
So did I say that I'd bought some new stencils or did I just say? can't remember anyway. Yeah, I've got a couple of new stencils so I should be using those as well. Um, maybe on this but not today. Oops. Neil's doing his, I think it's emails he's working on, that's all, downstairs on the computer and doing tea at the same time. Well, he's making his tea because he's having a seafood pie. I think I've told you before he does like messing about in the kitchen, so when I said that's what I'd got out for his tea, he was, he was all eager to do it himself, which, you yeah, know, <laughs> brilliant. I don't know what I'm having, but I'll, it'll be, he's making mash, so I'll be having something with mash. There's plenty in there. There is actually some turkey, I'm thinking, still left from Christmas. I might just have some mashed potato, turkey, veg and gravy. Something healthy-ish. Isn't that? I love that on that. That is gorgeous. I love it with this colour next to it as well, actually. Beautiful. Hmm. So do I. Right, they're not going to be together anyway, are they? Remember, they're going to be two di different pages. So I was thinking, I don't, don't know if I like those together, but oh, I like this ink splotch. Ooh, so we'll take it off that side and that side. Then um, I've been. Yep. So I'm still not. I keep, every day I come on and film, I say to you, I'm very nearly sorted and organised. <laughs> You know, my filming time and schedule sorted. And then, you know, we go off and do stuff. <laughs> we don't follow the plans we made for the day. But I know what you're all saying, or most of you, and you're absolutely right. Do, do what makes you happy, especially when you can be together with your loved ones. And uh, other things. And it's not that filming doesn't make me happy because it does but you know I can do that when Neil's at work anytime <laughs> I don't always but I can don't know what I'm doing but I'm, I'm just <laughs> we'll see what happens that's not very straight is it but yeah I'm not I used to be really you know kind of anal about it like no I've got to get this film done I'm, I'm on a schedule and and what have you and it's not to be that rigid is not life is it i think it came from with a lot of other youtubers it came from lockdown and we still keep talking about it don't we and it was a while ago now but it was such a, a bizarre bizarre period in history and a, a very bizarre period to live through <laughs> when you know you couldn't mix and you couldn't go out and would i like that in the top corner i think i might no i don't change my mind entirely i like it in the bottom Yep, so again, I could have gone down there with the ink. I did think about it at the time. But I will very probably just go over the two pages when I do the the gilding with which, whichever colour I use. And again, it's going to be in the... It's going to be in the spine, isn't it? So it mostly won't be seen. It's another page with a back on it, but never mind. I have to say I've absolutely done rubbish with my nose spend January. I've got to conf confess to that, to be fair, even the food now. Because in the end I was like, well, as long as I manage the food. I mean, we have eaten out the freezer and, you know, used a lot up, but it's it's far from empty. We've only got a week to go. And uh, yeah, we have, we have bought food and not just a little bit. I didn't ink these two, did I? Oh, well, it's a different look. Sounds like Neil now putting everything away. Wonder if he wants me. Oh, he opened the downstairs door and closed it again. I shouted, but I don't think he heard me. So, yeah, thanks for that because I've now got to join the film. But I do want to. Did I open the top? I did open the top. I want to put some um, divots in the top, but they're still a bit wet actually. And I want to put these down the bottom, these eyelets. So, 
I think I might turn the camera off and just let it dry a little bit and then come back. Oh, well, I made myself a cup of, a cup of tea while I was uh, waiting as well. So I've now got two cups and a glass of water on my table. So yes, quite a lot of tidying up when I'm done. So I was wondering about pockets, wasn't I? But I was thinking about the dangles as well. What have I done with me? My tray of things. So I don't want to put the big dangles that we made, the um, embellished ones um, on it. I'm thinking I might like them down the side. I know that one's there, but um, you'd be able to see them then, you know, in the journal, wouldn't you? And I was thinking, I don't know, two or three, perhaps dangling down. <laughs> just come upstairs now panting again. Um, let's just have a look in here and see. I mean, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's, it's quite light, that's not too heavy. So what have we got in here that will dangle? Heavy-ish, so I don't know. Um, Let's just um, just pull a few bits and pieces out that are not not too heavy. No. Nope. Um, I'm not necessarily going to use them all. So nice pad. I've got lots of like clockworky bits. Don't know if I want those or not. Um. I think these padlocks are a little, little bit on the heavy side, yeah, too heavy for paper. Now that one's all right. Then what I have got, I've got some item bolts. Charms, what did I do with them? Yeah. Word tags, charms. Oops, I got these at the Tim Holtz shop. Oh, I'd forgotten about them until I was just looking for... Let's put them out here now because they'll end up in there. So, lost and found, lucky, happy, hope. These are a nice size, actually. The number two, XO. I like the number two. I like a number. So let's... I don't want all those wheels, do we? Let's take that one away because it's a different... Those two are different colours. So, those two... And yeah, let's have found. Oops, there's a lot of found things there, isn't there? So I'm wondering about putting eyelets down. Perhaps three in one and two in the other, I don't know. And having these hanging off, off the edge. So there'll be a lot of charms. I don't know. What, I'm, what I'll do is I'm going to do the bottom two and, and hang them from there because it depends what the bulb pin looks like. Um, and what do I want to do here with with eyelets? I don't want, I mean, they're not one green one would be nice, wouldn't it? That green or blue, whatever you're. <laughs> and all the metallic colours. So we've got like a silver or, yeah, silver, gold, bronze, would you say? Sort of a pewtery colour. Is there any black ones? I don't think I've got any black ones left. How many is there? Five. Here's another silver one because I don't use those very often and uh, this is a good project to put them in. What else do I want? I want the copper dial but there's something else. Bulb pins. And they're right up there so I'll have to stand up for those. Up we go. There we go. Squeaky chair. So yeah, I'll do one sort of, although I didn't want them in the bottom, I wanted them higher up. I'll do one down here and see. So, where's my cropper dial? So, you know, in the edge it's not going to interfere too much with a, I was thinking, with a, um, a journal card. But do I want something on the back of this? Because that's not going to be so pretty, is it? Okay, bear with. What did I do with them all? I don't know if they're still in here or not. I was thinking about rehoming them. No, I haven't yet. 
thinking, oh no, I've rehomed them and I don't know where they are. Oh, look, I've got those lovely, um, yeah, interesting shaped ones from Deb. So, I've lost my little eyelet somewhere, I'm guessing. I'll find it in a minute. Let's look at these. Oh, look, this, yes, they're going to be perfect, aren't they? So an arrow one, an arrow one, the splodge, maybe not. Let's have that one. Oh, it's not meant to pick up. How did you know that these were just what I wanted, Debs? <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I'm loving those arrows. Okay, let me just put the whole thing over there. Don't sneeze, Denise, for goodness sake. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where's my... Great stuff. So, that one through there. That lovely. Should I glue it down, do you think? Probably should. Probably should. I'm excited. Look, can you see I'm, I'm all rushing now? Just because I found something new to play with again. Come through. Yeah, Neil's eating tea without me. <laughs> it's all ready. The cat's interested in it as well because it's fish pie. <laughs> That's what he was coming through for. I went down to find out what, what he wanted. Right, you go in the top, don't you? Do you go in the top? I need to think about this now. You go through there and you squash that open. I think that's right. Oh, crikey. Yeah, that's right. I wonder if I could have squeezed it anymore. A bit of a wimpy squeeze. No. Yeah, I'm pleased that I've put that um, ring reinforcer around her because it's... It would have been quite ugly, I think, because they, they don't always split even, do they? Look, I've got a bigger gap there. And it is a little bit, um, what's the word? Not jagged, but it's not smooth. It's rough on that corner. So see if I can just squeeze it down a bit because I don't want it catching anybody's fingers. Mine and other people's. Yeah, they, they don't squash down flat enough for my liking sometimes these. Now, I have really, really flattened that, but I can't seem to get into that one there. That's it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, now, unless you purposely dragged your finger down it, which I don't think would be good. But, you know, just touching it like that, you're not going to. You're not going to get a cut. Goodness me, did I get my bulb pins down? Because that's what I stood up for. Yes, I did. <laughs> there they are. Here they are. Okay, so I'm going to go with a black one in here. And let's have one of these little ones then. Let's have this found on here. Shall we? Yeah, I'm just wondering if they want, um, what to call, an extra ring in there. Um, yeah. Some of you are shouting at me now, but yes. It just makes a dangle hangle, hangle, a dangle hang a bit nicer. I forget what you call it, a something ring. Although that is all right on there, I quite like that. Not going to interfere with the opening of the page, and in fact, you see it on the inside. Yeah, I like that. So, but there's that faux one there. I quite like it, just that one. Might leave that just with that. And um, a jump ring, that's it. I might might try and find a jump ring for it. Leave that one and then I'll probably do three. Let's try three down here then. Let's go crazy. So let's find one of those lovely arrows. Let's call it a nice dark brown one. Punch a hole. Bigger one there. And I'm I'm going I'm going for the top. I'm going for it this time. <laughs> And uh, let's go for this green, shall we? Yeah. Little dark, jady green. Put this arrow on to reinforce the back of the hole. In all these um, eyelets that I have, they're all the proper, proper dial eyelets that go with, you know, the proper dial, they're the proper same make so they should all i could understand it if they didn't open properly because you can buy like um cheaper much cheaper versions of but i never have yet 
Yeah, that's fairly smooth, but it's still a little bit there. Don't nip your finger underneath, Denise. Oh, I've got it on the inside instead of the outside, but I don't know. Does it matter? Remember, there won't be an inside and an outside, will there? Okay, what, what colour bulb pin? Let's move on along. <laughs> um, what did I have on there? Black, didn't I? What am I going to put on this? I quite fancy the key right up here. Um, so I don't really want that bright gold colour. Not got that many colours to choose from. I think I'm going to go... Oh, have I found a bronzy one? I think I have. Yes, I found a bronze one. So let's see if this one's better or worse with it being bigger. Without a jump ring. I have got, I really must get them out and put them on my desk, the jump rings. Especially for this project. Because I'm going to use a lot of danglies and what have you. So I will try and remember. I like it. And it's not heavy at all. At all. Okay, so we'll, I don't know if three will be too many, but I'm going to go for it because, you know, can you have too many? So what shall we have down here? Let's not let's put this somewhere else because it's quite interesting on show. So we will have got to have this little number two, and then one of these rings. Let's go with the the more coppery coloured one here. Um, right, come on, Denise, move it along. A whole just too much, having too much fun. So I'm going to do this one the same way as that one. So I want to be that way up, don't I? Then I'm going to do the other one the other way on. If that makes sense. Got another bronze one here. And let's have another fancy one of these. That one's nice. It's got a stripy pattern on it. It's only thin paper, but... Um, I don't think it's the thickness that matters. No lid on me, glue. I, I think it's just the, the extra. Underneath, as well as the pattern, the extra, uh, you know, whatever shows round. So tall bit underneath, sharp bit on top and squeeze. Yeah, you know, that one's opened quite nicely. I mean, there still are some sharpish. If you want it to be picky, they are still quite sharp. I suppose if you had, you know, fabric that they could sink into, it would be better. And I know you can get grommets. I've not seen any. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe I need grommets, which are like little washers, I think, that go go on there. Um, if I use black twice. No, you're bronze. Hmm, I feel like let's let's go yellow. Let's go bold with one of them. We've got that green up there, so let's go wild. <laughs> there isn't any yellow anywhere, is there? So it will. Oops, that's it. Which way do I want it? Do I want it? That white is a very tiny. No, I think I'd like some lace or fabric. And actually, I am thinking I have got some little tags in here but I've got some um, faux leather somewhere all right these this one was from Violet but I'm thinking these little tiny ones now I don't know if these were from Debs or Tanya because you've both sent me some uh, huh. I think they were Violets though I don't know anyway all three of you you lovely ladies have sent me some Little tiddly dink danglers. Yeah, these have got the vellumy ones in. I feel these were from Tanya. And two of those on behind there might be nice. Right, can I open it? Because I'm all... I don't know. Somebody opened it for me. I was going to say I'm all thumbs. So I'll have the... The card one at the back and then there's like a see-through vellumy one. In front of that, and then my charm there. Yeah, just makes a bit more of it. Yeah. And I've just suddenly had a, a thought for the bottom one. Which way round are you going? Oh, come on. 
I'm not going to... Oh, you little, little monkey. Come on, stop fighting me. There we go. The other one I'm going to do the other way, I said. Aren't they look lovely on here, don't they? And, um, yeah, I'm not going to use the bulb pin. I'm going to use a little bit of string, I think. Which will give it, you know, a bit more of a steampunky vibe. And Oops, I've got bits escaping. Don't escape. Change it up a little bit, give it an interesting look. I'm loving them on that one particularly. You go in there and you go in there. So we're going to go with a silver one, I think. Here. Oh, just too much fun. Far too much fun. I know it's slow crafting, but... So I don't want to be too low. Out there, I think. Oh, I've come quite close to the edge. And, yeah, we're going this way this time. No, we're not. We're going this way this time. Is that right? Yeah. And, oh, what shall we have? Shall we have a, oops, a square? Oh, no, there's a little, like a house. Not that colour. I've had that colour once. No, I've just seen a square that I like. Oh, no, you. <laughs> a house. Are you in? Yeah. Um, I was going to say something then. Gone. But it's got writing on the back, this one. Come on. That's it. So Neil's looking for something for us to watch on TV. We seem to be kind of out of joint shows or films, as it were. Things we would both enjoy watching so that's not right oops we've still got the stormy wind oh you see look how that one's bent right under i don't know if it's user error or just the way it is but never mind uh, yeah so it's a it's that kind of a sit in front of the telly with a nice well, a mug of something, but I'm thinking maybe Bailey's. Not a mug of, <laughs> obviously, just a, a glass of. Yeah, now snuggling with the cat. Um, so I said a bit of string, didn't I? Now I've got. Um, sorry, I could reach up and get the the string box, but I'm thinking. Oh, let me just have a look. I've got in our box. I've got this green. Hmm, decisions. So I was thinking I could use this off this tag. Or oh, I've got this lovely green. That might be nice, might it? Let's use some of that. It's an embroidery thread. It's very vintage. It's out of a really old um, sewing box that I bought a long time ago. It has got a shine to it. So I'm thinking so that I can take it off or the owner can take it off. I'll do it through like that. Let's see what it looks like. Actually, no, I'm going to tie it round. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. It can be taken off just by cutting it, just by snipping it with a pair of scissors, couldn't it? So, yeah, I think I'll prefer it like that. And then just tied here. So, what, what was I putting on it? Can you remember? I had a little... Just bear with me a minute. It was a, a metal disc, wasn't it? I took one over there. No, that's not the one we was having. Because there's another one over here. So it must have been one of those two. Was that the one we was having? I think that was it. I can't remember now. Anyway. Oops. So I'll just go through the centre of there, I think. No, I won't. I'll go through the edge. Let it really dangle. So is it a cog or something like that? I don't know. And then I can leave a nice long thread on here. Maybe, <laughs> if I can tie. Oh, I've kept you a long time, I'm sure of it. And I'm not done yet. Well, it really does dangle that, doesn't it? Now, I could make it shorter when I put it in the book. If, um, yeah, I like them. If that's too much, I can shorten it up because it's just on string. 
yeah very happy with those right i want a divot in the top and then i need to decide i just grab oh you i was grabbing under the table then could you tell so i want this to be central so i'm going to try and make it central right so we've got 13 and a half we would wouldn't we um yeah, exactly 13 and a half. So half of 13 is six and a half and a quarter. Six and three quarters. That's the best I could do working it out. So that's there. Right, I'm going to have to bring this up to my face to cut it, I'm, af I'm afraid, because I won't be able to see. Oh, I don't think I can see anyway. Oh, I can just get it in. It won't be a very deep one, but let's see if I can show you. Oh, I hope I'm not ripping anything. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right, it's not a deep one, but it's okay. And again, when I go round with the copper, I will I will go round that divot as well. So let's do the same here. And that one's actually 14, would you believe? Um again, if they're not you know equal to each other. So this one might open a bit easier. It does a lot easier. They're not going to be opposite each other, remember. So I can go a bit deeper with this one. Because you won't look at it and think, oh, that one's a lot shallower. Because it'll be on a completely different page. All right. Now I've got to decide where I want the pockets. I mean, that is lovely journaling in there. And, you know, with some embellishments, it's going to have a, a tag in. I'm going to have the pockets on this on the outside as it were um i know i'm hiding all the loveliness but let me just cut it with a chopper so i'm thinking i might want a, a gusseted pocket so i don't want to make it too small so what are we so we're looking at 13 then centimetres. And I definitely don't want it too high. So what's that? I'm just measuring it so that I can work out. Let me do it on here. So eight, we'll go by eight. So 13 by eight. So, you know, I can do two. So I can do the other one the same. Okay, so in theory, if I just do eight with that, then I've got two. Do the same. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I'm a little I don't know why I just put that card in the drawer where the um oops. What goes? What goes in the drawer? The chopper, not the card. Right, put those back in the drawer, didn't I? Do you remember? Oh, and this is a proper one for here, I could put it back on it. So we've got I'm just going to can't even read what that says. I could say a half an inch. Don't know. My eyes won't make it out. But I'm doing it the same both sides, so and bottom. So I'm making a gusseted pocket. It won't very nice that side of the paper, so I'll turn it in. Yeah, it looks like half an inch when, when I look at where the inch is, so. That's it. Move that out now. Let's put that on it, shall we? There we go. Now I need another one to fold over with. I think I'm fold. And my little scissors. In all oh, did you hear that grumble? <laughs> my stomach grumbled just as I moved close to the microphone. Well, to the camera, which is where the microphone is. So, just cut in some. What are they? Whoops. Took my, took my paper away before I'd finished cutting there. I don't know what you'd call them. What would you call them? Cutting the corners off anyway. And the, uh, the tops, the edges, so that it sits neat. And fold it over 
and yes let's have a divot while we are and we'll just guesstimate it probably be way out no it may not too bad and the same here so cut the cut the corners off with a slight angle like that and then just the tops off at a slight angle just nothing shows then um yeah that side that side's a scratchy side oops so it's a nice strong piece so it will take a gusseted pocket and a, a fairly chunky piece of of something And then, of course, I still need big tags to go in there, but I'm not doing that tonight. And these need decorating. They just don't look straight. I don't know. It's probably a trick of the eye, because I did do it on the... Didn't I? What did I do it on? Don't say chopper. <laughs> I'm going to fabric tack this now. I have to be careful, because... If I get it on the black, it will show. Unless I can get it rubbed off quickly. Although I am going to decorate the pocket as well when we decorate the, the book. I was in the middle of saying something and it's gone again. Being awkward. It is quite strong paper, this black paper. Okay, let's. Was I saying that it's strong enough to hold something, or had I already said that? I don't know. I think I'd already said that. Okay. Yeah, I might do some dangles with that faux leather that I've got. We just make these a little bit more tight on the folds. I might not have quite so much trouble gluing it down then. You never know. <laughs> I might. So we're going on this way. Great fun to make. I mean, it'd, it'd make a nice little um, folio, this. You could put a few pages of notebook in the middle. Maybe even a flip out. They're lovely for, for stuff like that, these craft envelopes. But I am going to put this in the signature, like I said. I want to have some different um, sized pages as well as the, you know, the kit pages, which I've done. I would say 90% of the kit pages I've done all the same size one or two different but there will be other pages there'll be some of my papers some ledger papers and such like in it so even i don't know yet what's going in it for certain it's such a shame to cover those beautiful images up but it's got to be done now um some embossing would be nice on here as well but i'm not going to do overdo it i have got those ones that i did to stick on I'm not going to stick them on just here, but, you know, if you're doing it, they'd be lovely embossed. Yeah, so it needs two big um, journal cards. Excuse me. And, um, yeah, maybe some labels or something like that. So that's journaling. Like I say, it's going to go in there. Lovely. It's going to go in there spine of the journal there okay so sorry i hope i didn't keep you too long i hope you um enjoyed the play at the end i know i just spent a lot of time gluing papers down but that's what us junk journals do um i will see you uh, tomorrow is wednesday yep so i should be playing with this again wednesday and is it wednesday tomorrow i don't know no it's thursday tomorrow so yeah i still will be playing with this thursday and then friday something different so for those of you that you know are not interested in this project you know one or two of you aren't um yeah friday saturday sunday will be something different and then i'll be back on this again monday 
Okay, have a lovely evening. Um, I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, but I will start now and we'll see. <laughs> Bye for now.